Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought we'd make my little Girl Scout, um, Daisy, my Daisy Girl Scout. As you can see, she's got her little tunic on. Now, I've, I've not been a Girl Scout, my little one's not a Girl Scout, but um, my, my dear friend's daughter is. So I've sort of gone on the colours that I could find on the internet. Now, one of the things I should mention is a very dear friend of mine um, who runs one of the biggest rainbow loom channels on facebook which is rainbow loom obsession and uh, the lady's name is linda and uh, linda this is linda i never know how to pronounce her, her surname I, I pronounce it my way ardolino um she did the original little girl scout and asked if i would do a uh, a tutorial so that we can marry them up with my little boy scout well not literally marry them because they're children but you know what i mean we can pair them up <laughs> so the first one we're going to do is the little daisy and as i as i mentioned thank you very much to linda for allowing me to do this um of course i've put my own little touch to it what, what would i be without doing that so we have hair on the back here and we have this little um added part here for the little sort of uh, I suppose it's an apron isn't it I'm, I'm not really sure pinafore apron so that's what we're going to be doing single loom in the offset configuration columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than columns two we're going to be putting hair on the back of the head as I mentioned we're also going to be double banding the open part of the peg is going to be facing towards you um, or if you have an arrow which I hope you do. I hope you've got a, an official rainbow loom. They're much nicer. The edges aren't sharp. They're not going to cut your bands or anything like that. The other thing you're going to need um, are some little mini pony beads. I use these for the eyes. They're the 4mm by 7mm mini pony beads. I'm using brown for the hair. I've got blue for her pinafore and her socks, black for her shoes. And I've used white for her shirt and obviously skin tone as well. Now, if you want to do her in little blue shorts, that's fine. I've done her in a little white skirt, but it is completely up to you what color you want to make. Um, you can do it all in blue, that's absolutely fine. Maybe we'll do this one all in blue, but you can change it up if you choose to. So, Double banding, as I mentioned, that means taking two bands and placing them on your loom together over the pegs as if they were one. Alright, so we're going to start by doing the back of the hair. I always feel this looks so much nicer. I'm just throwing bands all over the place. Um, I feel it looks so much nicer on a figure to have hair at the back so that you don't see, I don't see the back of her head really. Um, so let's start with this now for this you're doing it in layers so you do need to push things down okay as i mentioned we're double banding two bands at the same time So this is the back of the hair. I'm going to put two bands here. I'm going to use a crossover band. So that's a single band that I use for a crossover, just here. And I stretch it over these three pegs, like a little triangle, like that, okay? Then I'm gonna put another single band on this peg here as an end cap. So I'm gonna wrap it around my hook once and twice, which gives me three loops on my hook. And I'm gonna pop it here on this little peg, right there. And then what I'm going to do is start to loop up. I'm going down past that end cap and grabbing those two brown bands. Put your finger there to stop your end cap flying off and ending up in the, in the nothing. And then we're going to go two top brown bands. Mine loop to this side. The next two loop to this side. Up the center once and twice. Push things down. Now here on this right side you're just going to grab the two bottom brown bands and loop up once and the same this side making sure that you've pushed your crossover bands down. Push these all down all right. Now before we go much further we need to do her little pigtails and they're just a little cat band here and one two and three pair of brown and then we have the little blue band in the middle here like that acting as like a ponytail holder. So take a single band, wrap it once and twice and we'll take our pair, our first pair, and slide on. 
Now we're going to do a bit of fancy footwork. Just take that off for a second. You're going to take a blue band and you're going to stretch it into a figure eight and put it on your hook. Put this back on, okay, and you're going to slide that on like this. You've got your little blue band on this side here. You're going to take the two, hold, let me try and explain, hold this side of the brown band with your, with your hand that's holding the hook. Take the blue band, figure eight, like that, and put it back on your hook. Pop your brown bands back on your hook, you've reclaimed them, and then pinch the two blue and pop over like that. Okay, and we'll do that again for the next one as well. Another two pair of brown and one more pair of brown. Now, when we place these brown bands, what we need to do is slide one side, one side here, these two little loops here are going to slide onto this pair of brown here that's already been looped up. So I'm going to take the two brown bands off my peg and onto my hook. I'm going to slide these two, the furthest away from me, up and over and put those back on my peg, like so. I still have this side on my hook. I'm going to just place it up here for the minute. Okay, but that is on here. All right. Wrap once and twice a pair of brown. Now, take this off. We get our blue. Stretch. Figure eight. Pop it on your hook. Pop this back on and move that over. Remember, you're going to hold this side like this. Pinch your blue bands. You're going to pinch it. You're going to twist it and pop back onto your hook so you have like a figure eight there. Push this side back on and then the two blue bands that are in the middle here, you lift up and over. All right, so you've just got a little figure eight happening in the middle there. Take another couple of brown bands, slide on, and one more pair, slide on. Now again, do you remember, just one side of your ponytail is going to slip on here. So take it off, slip on, and put back, like so. And then again, keep this side up here for the minute. All right, now we're going to lay some skin tone bands and we're going to start with two here, two here, two here. Two here. Move two to the side. And two from this side. Oops, if I can get my fingers there, let's push everything down so we have room. I need two for the neck. I need a single stretching across here as a crossover band. Okay. And then I also need a single twist once, twice, three times and placed here on these two bands to stop my eyes from falling to the back of the head. Now I'm going to thread my eyes using my hook. If you don't have a hook that fits your beads down, you can use floss, you can use a metal threader, really doesn't matter. If you don't have beads, you can use bands. One band wrapped around three times or four times is equal to one bead, okay? And then you would slide them onto your skin tone band just like normal and stretch across the two pegs that are going to represent the eyes. Make sure you have one either side and then using your hook, take the top part of the band and lift it up and over this peg here so that it acts like a crossover band. Now, this is where we're going to take the other side of our piggy tail off and we're going to place it back here on our um, on our peg. Sorry, I'm having a little, little moment with my brain not cooperating. 
back on. I'm going to try and make sure that I haven't got the bands twisted. I have a feeling this one, no it's not, so I did good. Alright, push everything down. Now, you're going to take your hook and place it under here to grab that brown band on the neck and you're going to lift it up and over so it sits on top of your two bands that you have for the neck. Okay, so that's going to sit there. Now we're going to start with some white. We're going to take a pair of white and place those. Uh, now, actually, I'm telling you fibs, let's do some blue first. And the reason I want the blue to be at the back, I want the blue to be the predominant colour at the back. So two blue for the shoulder, two blue for the other shoulder, and then we'll put our pair of white. Now, we're going to do some arms. I'm going to use the bottom half of our, of our loom to do the arms. I'm doing arms in white. I'm saying she's wearing a long white shirt. So again, two. And you're just going to go under the peg where we just did the shoulder. So that's one pair, two pair, three pair, and four pair. Make sure you do the same on the other side one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair. Now take a pair of skin tone and they go on one side here. Another pair of skin tone, they go on the other side and you're going to use two single bands of skin tone either side as an end cap wrap once and twice and pop on the end and then again for the other side single band once and twice and pop that on the end we can now loom up I'm just going to move my bands out the way so I have room push your hook down grab those skin tone and loop up now if you want to do a pink shirt or whatever it's completely up to you. I've just chosen white. And let's do this side. There we go. I'm just going to take one side off and keep on my hook and take two side off and keep on my hook just for a few seconds. I'm going to take two blue and place two blue and place and we're going to put our arms on top here so there's our first one and then move around and put our second one make sure you get all the bands on okay so now we're going to come down and do another pair The cat hair is an added extra. Down the centre here. And we're going to put one more pair just here. Now, if you were deciding at this point that you were going to change the colour for the skirt, this is where you would do it, okay? And we would choose white or whatever. I'm going to use blue. I'm going to keep going with blue, all right? So for my skirt, I'm going to do a pair here and a pair here and a pair here. And I'm going to do two blue and two blue this side like that and I'm going to put an end cap here wrap once and twice with a single band and pop in just here so for skin tone I'm going to do two pair okay just very carefully put my skin tone away I have no idea why <laughs> one pair and two pair and then on this side one pair and two pair socks 
I chose to do blue as well, but you could use white, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try white for this time. So I'm going to do a pair of white. Okay, now that's the end of my loom. So the rest I have to do on my hook. So I start with her shoe. I'm going to do black for a shoe. So two single bands. Let's move her out of the way. Wrap once and twice. And we're going to slide onto two pair of band. Now we're not going to reclaim straight away. We're going to take another two and pop them on your hook and wrap once and twice. And now we reclaim. All right, like that. Then we take two black bands and we're going to slide the first two little loops over. Then we'll slide our wrapped band over and then we'll slide our other two little loops. Reclaim the end of your black bands and then take another pair of white for an extra bit of sock and slide through and pop on the end of one leg. Let's do the same for the other, and you can angle it, you see, so it looks like a little shoe. Let's do the same for the other two black bands. Wrap once and twice, slide onto a pair of black bands. Don't reclaim just yet, take a pair of black bands, wrap once and twice, and now reclaim. A pair of black bands, and you're going to slide this all on. So I do the first two loops, then I do the wrapped band, and then I do the second two loops, like that. Reclaim, and we're going to add these to a pair of white as an extra piece of sock. And again, you're going to add to the other side of the leg. And we can angle our little shoe so it faces the other way. We need crossover bands, so single band, and you're just going to stretch them in the shape of a triangle over these pegs like this. Now I'm not going in and making um, a skinny waist or anything like that. She's a little girl. She doesn't have to have a defined figure. She's just a little girl. There we go. Put those like that. Okay, it's time for us to start looping. Let's go a bit loopy. I'm going to pop some bands out of the way so we don't get in the way. Pull back your shoe and grab the two white bands and loop up. And you're going to do this either side. And then we'll loop up the two skin tones. And then we will dig down here from the centre under that cap band, that end cap rather, grab the two top blue bands and loop them to their side. And I'm going to push my bands down so I have room. Do the same for the other side and the middle. And then you're going to dig down and you have to push past all the bands to get just the last two because you don't want um, your crossover bands getting in the way. Now at this point here, all right, we're going to stop and we're going to put just a little bit of a puff there just to show that it's a little bit different. Now this could mean that it's a little puffy short, whatever, okay? So I'm going to take two bands, two blue bands, okay? And I'm going to pop my hook through here and I'm going to drag back those two bands all the way through like this. Okay, so I've got them here on the end of my hook. I'm going to take another two bands and I'm going to chain them onto that, like that. Okay, and these are going to go on this peg as well. So I'm going to hold them, I'm going to pinch them. I'm putting the two that are looped up already on my hook. I'm going to add those back to my hook as well. And all of these can go on the peg. Like that. Okay, push it all down. So let's do the same on the other side. Two black, two black, two blue bands. I'm going colour blind as well, apparently. Pull them back through all of those bands that are on that peg and out to the side here, like that. And make sure you got all of them. I did, but I'm going to do it again. Twist your hook so that you don't snag on the other bands, okay? And you have them on there. Grab another two to chain in. Chain those two in, okay? 
So now I'm going to lift the first two bands off this peg, hold them, just hold them with your fingers, if, if your fingers will let you. There we go. Oh, that's why one of them wasn't coming off the peg. So this is a bit tight. There we go. Pop these onto your peg and pop on top. Now, I should state that's going to make it look as if it's all running up and these come out the side, okay? If you want it to look puffy, have one of the puffy bands on the outside. It really doesn't matter, but I think this will look better. Dig down, push past the crossover band down there and you're just getting the last two bottom pair, uh, bands, okay? Make sure you just get both of them and that the crossover band is out the way. Loop up to the arms or to the shoulders, push things down. And we're going to loop one side in and the other side in. And we're going to go back down to the bottom here and loop our middle. You mustn't forget that. Always look for these little teardrop shapes. These are our visual indicator that everything has been looped in. Okay, so we're going to dig down, grab the two white. They're going to be on the top, which is good. Dig down. We want the two skin tone bands. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and place them on the top there two top bands, make sure you go under the others, there we go, loop to their side, the next top two go to their side and then the bottom two are under here somewhere, they can be a bit tricky to find sometimes. Try and make sure that you don't um, twist the bands on the face, especially, they can look pretty yucky if you twist them. Okay, skin tone. You want these skin tone to be on the top. They need to be the predominant colour on the top. Dig down and you're finding the two bottom brown bands and loop up. Two bottom and loop up. Loop up loop to the centre and loop to the centre. We need brown bands to tie off. I use two. The reason I use two is to have one as insurance really. Um, you can tie off just using one but I think you know if one snapped I'd be really upset if the whole thing fell apart. So I push my hook down, grab two bands and pull them back through and tie off. I use the back of a hook without the padding to help me ease off the loom. You can use just your regular your regular hook, that's fine. The reason I use a hook to help me is if you just rip it off your loom, the chances of you breaking a band are pretty high. And I don't know about you, but if that happened to me when I was at the end of my creation, I would be rather annoyed. So just ease her off. And you can call these shorts or a skirt, it really doesn't matter, it looks more like a little skirt to me. I think, personally. And these are her little ponytails that we've got sticking out here. Now, I like to just pretty up the bands here and try and make it so that the brown bands are the predominant ones that you see here on the side. It's a little bit difficult, I know. But just sort of pull them so that they are the predominant ones that you see and they are on one side but not on the other but that's okay with your with your tie-off bands here at the back push your hook through and you're going into the space 
between the head and the hair, the skin and the hair, end up grabbing the two loops and pulling them back through. And you can hide them inside the head here in this little space between the face and the back of the hair. All right, so there's her little piggy tails like this. You can kind of angle them up a bit. They sort of stay like that. She's wearing her little dress, arms up and down, up and down to get them placed. Position her legs right. Now, she needs this little tunic thing, doesn't she, that she that she wears. And as you can see, you've got hair on the back here. So, to do the, the little tunic, very easy. You can do it on your hook. And all you're going to do is take a single bound, wrap it once and twice, slide onto a pair, like that. Don't reclaim, take another pair and slide on. Now reclaim and take another pair and slide on. So just how I used to make my little leaves. So this is one side, okay? Let's do the same again. Wrap once and twice, take a pair, slide on, don't reclaim. Here's your first pair to slide on and reclaim and this, just reclaim that and then let's do our second pair like that. So we have two of these on our hook like this. All right, we're going to take two, two bands and you're going to basically tie them in a knot together like that and you're going to slide these on. this and then at the other end you're going to have the two together take a single band and you're going to you're going to tie a knot with these you're not going to tie a slip knot because we want this to look like the tie ends of the of the tunic so one you're just basically going to take one over the other like this and tie a knot like that as if you're doing it like a ponytail and you have these two little loops here and what you're going to do is the same on the other side as if you were tying a knot here but we're not really because we've got a knot there <laughs> <laughs> so let's take another single and go through and again we're just going to tie a knot so I have one side on my hook and I stretch the other side just a little bit. Don't overstretch it, otherwise you'll end up with um, huge bows. Tighten a knot like that, okay? And try and position it so it's on the knot where we joined the two bands together, all right? So this is what you'll have, like that. And you're going to stretch this out just a little bit to pop her feet in and then wiggle it up over her body like this and you want one at the front and one at the back and then these little loops that we tied our knots at are going either side and that's to make it look like she's wearing a little tunic so these are the you know how the tunics tie at the side that's that and then there's her little this is the pinafore front and this is the pinafore at the back Alright, so there is our little Daisy. As I mentioned, you don't have to have her in the blue skirt. If you choose to do a white skirt, you can do that. It's completely up to you. You don't have to have a white shirt under it. You can have pink or yellow or whatever colour you like. But uh, that is how I did Linda's and my little Daisy Girl Scout. I hope you enjoy. Take care.